Hey everyone, I'm Ian Douglas, the author of the website techinterview.guide. I do live streams every Sunday and Thursday at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern about topics relevant to interview preparation for the tech industry. I occasionally record longer Q&A sessions and I've started to break those into smaller videos to post. And there'll be information at the end of this video about how to get in contact with me if you have additional questions. Let's get to it. I was asked a question about a behavior question. The, and the behavior question is, what is your biggest regret and why? And someone was asking, like, how do you answer that question? What is your biggest regret? That's a, that's a bit of a tough one. You have to be careful to kind of stay out of the personal waters on that one. I think you want to be careful that you're not, uh, not giving too much away about, you know, personal details and things like that. Like, oh, my biggest regret is, you know, um, I don't get back to Canada enough to see my family. It's like, okay, well, you know, why is that like your biggest regret? Um, you know, and, and I, I think you have to be a little bit careful about exposing too much about your personal life in a, in an interview. I mean, you, you do want to show that you're human and you're relatable and, and so on, but you do need to be a little bit careful about how much you share during an interview, especially your personal details around family and so on. Um, so, you know, what is your biggest regret? I think that that one's a little bit harder to answer. I think you could reframe it with like, you know, what was, what was the biggest you know, thing that I wish I had done differently on the job. Like I, I would maybe clarify with them and say, you know, um, just out of curiosity, are you curious about something that happened on the job that I regret happened or didn't happen? Um, because what you regret might be framed very differently from what someone else might say. So you could talk about like, oh, I regret that I didn't push myself hard enough to get that promotion, or I regret that you know, my action or inaction on something caused this other thing. Um, so I think you can, you can be honest about how you answer that question, but I would always frame it on a professional level. Like, tell me something about your previous job that you regret happening. Maybe it was communication between teammates or something like that, or how you handled, you know, like a lead scenario or a manager type of scenario where, you know, you were in charge of other people and you didn't set a good example. I'm guilty of that. Um, and I've actually like sent out conversations to people like apologizing to them going, Hey, you know what? When I was at that job, I wasn't a good example. And I apologize for that. Um, and so I've, I've been like trying to reach out to people from previous jobs as I learn things about myself and go, Oh yeah, I shouldn't have done that. That was, that was, you know, something that I regret. Um, it's not too late to make amends. Just reach out to people and talk to them about it. Um, but how much of that do you want to talk about in an actual interview? Uh, again, I think you need to, um, I think you need to be careful about, uh, about that because they can bias against you. I mean, anything you say in an interview, they could use to bias against you. Um, even if it's not like a, um, like a legally protected kind of scenario, they could still just bias and go, nah, something was a little off. You know, I'm not really sure about that person. It's really hard to prove, uh, prejudice and, and things like that. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I would always caution don't say too much on a, on a personal level that's going to make you not get the job. Hey, thanks for watching. I love helping people out with interview prep, and I hope this video helped you in some way. If you found this Q&A useful, please consider subscribing. You can follow me on Twitch as well for the live stream twice a week. Check out techinterview.guide slash streaming for more information. I also have a daily email series that you can subscribe to on the website. There are never any ads, and when you finish the series, I scrub your information out of my database permanently. Finally, if you have a question that you'd like answered on the stream, you can find my contact info on techinterview.guide. I prefer LinkedIn or email. If you leave your question in a YouTube comment, it might take me longer to find it, but I'll see you next time.